Welcome back to Something Different. I trust you had a wonderful weekend. Please keep those comments coming. They certainly inspire me. And remember, like and share these videos. Let's keep the word going all over the globe as we continue to discuss lessons from Nehemiah. So lesson number four, how to develop discernment. Remember, last week we spoke about the need to discern, to be able to know, is this of God or not? To see as God sees. But how do I get my discerning to be more sensitive? How do I develop my ability to discern? First, study and apply the word. Hebrews 4 and verse 12 says, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. The word of God is so powerful and so sharp that it is able to divide even things that we thought were indivisible. How do you divide soul from spirit? How do we pull them apart? But the word of God is able to make the distinctions. What this scripture is saying is that the word of God is able to make the fine distinctions that training cannot make that our psychology cannot make, that our intuition cannot make. But when we know the word and apply the word, the word is able to guide us into all truth, as the Bible says. And so it allows us to see through the lens of God. Secondly, we must push towards maturity. Push for growth. And maturity. The scriptures teach us that if it is that you are matured, then you are better able to discern. Matured in God. And maturity in God comes from practicing the word of God. Living it day by day. Practicing to walk according to the spirit. And as we practice, as we do it, we develop, we get more matured. And the Bible tells me that our discerning becomes greater because of use. And finally, seek the gift of the Spirit, the gift of discerning. Yes, it is a gift of the Spirit. And the Bible says, seek after the gifts. Pray for it. And if you seek it, you'll receive it. So, let us work on our discernment through study and application of the word, through practice and growth in God, and by praying for the gift of discerning, discerning of spirits. God bless you.